walk us through that run. What what you see and what it feel like? Uh, I saw a gigantic hole that our offensive line and tight end created, and I just hit it full speed. Tez was saying that he, he kind of expected you'd, you'd spin out and avoid the player. Why was it important for you to do what you did that to finish it that way? Mm, just make a statement, you know. I feel like that's a play he'll remember for the rest of his life. As we kind of saw you on the sideline after, you looked like you're really fired up. What's kind of the, I guess, adrenaline? What's going through your body after a moment like that, a play like that? Mm, excitement. I was excited, but I was more so like mentally trying to calm myself down because the game wasn't over. You know, it was more plays to be made. I feel like you made a statement, maybe a little bit on that first one too. Because everybody looks at the touchdown truck, but you had one of the early runs as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what, what is it like to go from being a guy who hits the edge with the speed that you do to now having the physicality be something that's being talked about like that now? Mm, hard work, off season, you know, putting on weight, and just playing physical. I feel like that's how we practice. So it's kind of like translated to the game. You know. That play went pretty viral. Who, who did you hear from afterwards about it? Ironically, my phone broke like <laughs> two days. So Friday, I had to get a whole new phone, a whole new phone number. So really just my mom, my dad, my sisters, my brothers, like, because I got a new phone number. So people really couldn't really get in touch with me. Another guy who had a big day on Saturday, trust us. Um, yeah, he, he's a great guy to be around, like off the field. Like, he got a great personality. If anybody didn't know, but he's a heck of a, a video gamer. Like, he got real skills on the sticks, for sure. For sure. We see from this Michigan defense, they're awfully good against the run. Maybe the last week or two, notwithstanding, but they've been pretty effective. What, what is it about them that makes them good at stopping the run? Mm, I think they play very physical up front. Like they, the interior D linemen are, they some guys for real. Mm -hmm. But I feel like we got guys on the O line, so it should be a great matchup. Would you compare them to anybody from an opposing defense you guys have played even last season? With anybody, or is it mainly like the guys in practice? Mainly just the guys in practice. Mm -hmm. I'm being honest. I know you were you're pretty high on who Dink could be when we talked to him in the fall. Obviously, we saw him for the first time on Saturday. Is that kind of explosive to this, what you'd seen him before? And what kind of pride did you have watching him play like that? <laughs> I was just excited that he got to do it on Saturday because he always do it throughout the week. You know, So it was just to see it translate over and for him to go in with so much confidence for his first ever collegiate game, it just was like, he deserves it. From a team aspect, are you kind of seeing a lot of translation, like what you guys seen all year in practice now finally translating more to the games? Yeah. yeah. People finding their confidence, you know, mid-season, you know, we're winning. So I feel like people kind of expect to go out there and do their job and do it well, because that's what's expected of them. So many played with Bucky for two years. I saw the Ducks first them video and they Coaches, when Dink made his plays, called him like a mini Bucky. Do you, mm -hmm. you see that comparison? Yes. I've been telling him that. Like, <laughs> even before everybody was telling him that, I was like, bro, you run exactly like Bucky. Like, and he does. Like, like, the whole making people miss, kind of slipping in and out of tackles, like, that's his game. That's his game. Have you seen Bucky's performances in the game? Yeah. yeah. He doing the same thing, <laughs> as expected, you know? What, what, I guess what is it like on Sunday? There's a lot of ducks, a lot of guys that you've played with that are performing well, and Bo and Bucky and Troy and Troy. several other guys. What's, yeah. what's that like for you, especially when you're in a situation where obviously you're aspiring to get there yourself soon? Just motivation, you know. I feel like they inspire me to keep going, you know. And they show they show us that it's possible. And, yeah. What is motivating this team right now? I know we've, you know, we've asked you what the number one ranking means and everyone just says like you don't really care about that so what is your motivation at this point in the season mm, trying to play a complete a complete football game you know and be the best versions of ourselves. you know i feel like we go out there every saturday and we're not really playing the opponent we're playing ourselves you know so i feel like 
trying to beat Oregon is what actually motivates us. Thank you.